This tutorial gives a brief introduction to using masks with portrait images. It gives the idea of shows you how to put them together and how to use them. An unmasked image takes up more screen real estate, and uh, when you if you zoom in on it, it just takes up more screen space than you may want to have it uh, take. Now, if you mask it, however, you can keep the same real estate that you have on the screen, but you can zoom into any part of the image you want. In this example, I have uh, applied a vignetted mask to two of the images. The one on the right, I have created or added a border and a uh, shadow to it that I created. Uh, when you sh uh, mask something, you can't apply the uh, Pro Show mask to it because it just won't show up. And then the image in the back is just ordinary mask, or ordinary image that hasn't been masked. Notice how much space it takes up. This is just a comparison of two images, one that's been masked and one that hasn't been masked. And I zoom in on them. And you'll notice that the masked image is a lot more pleasing to the eye when it comes to changing the effective uh, zoom of the image itself. To the far left, you'll see the layers that were used to create what you see before you. All of the masks and all of the framing were created in ProShow. There are no additional graphics other than the image that you see here. Each of the images is masked, and you can see from that that it allows you to pan or move left, right, up, or down the images as you change their size. What follows next is a portrait based masked image with a changing color border. I'll show basically how it was done. I won't get into uh, specifics as to the size of the image and the masking layers or specific times or anything like that, but at least you get an idea of how this was done. The mask lets me change the size of the image or its pan without affecting anything else as far as where the image is on the page or uh, what its border looks like or anything like that. In this case, I also am kind of given a, 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 a moving border that may or may not be appropriate, but it gives you an idea of what you can do. This shows how the page was set up. The mask has six layers below it, uh, five of which are uh, images and another one is uh, used as to help change the images. The, more, the border itself is composed of uh, two layers beneath it and then I have an outline and a shadow for the, uh, for the image itself as well as the background image. And all this image does is identify what each of the different uh, parts of this page there are. Uh, it identifies the mask set, what the different layers are for, uh, and the like. Basically self-explanatory. Now all this layer does is basically explain how I created the moving border. Now uh, the mask is a little bit larger than the uh, image itself and the, uh, under the layers beneath the border mask all they do is rotate around and it gives the impression of movement on the outside edges of the image. Simple. Effective.